The area of the brain we are referring to is called the cerebral cortex. And it's the smart brain that you're using right now to do most of the listening, looking and learning. The left hemisphere is generally very good at receiving information, being organised, doing things logically, following instructions, abstract thinking, attending to detail and enjoying language, words and wordplay. Whereas the right hemisphere is generally very good with expression, spatial awareness, seeing the big picture, intuition, creative thinking, problem solving and picking up emotional signals. The way that the left and right hemispheres of the brain perceive information from the senses is therefore subtly different. For instance, with vision, the left will look for the detail and the right will look at the big picture. With communication, the left is mainly verbal while the right favours non-verbal. In movement, the left hemisphere is strong in planning, technique, structured moves while the right favours an intuitive and expressive flow of movement. And with hearing, the left favours listening to specific notes, lyrics and speech, while the right favours rhythm, dialect and intention. Now let's have a go at these quick activities to discover your dominant hemisphere. Quickly glance at the image on the screen. What was the first thing you noticed? that it was made up of the letter D's, or that it looked like the letter L. If you first saw the D's, then that's the left brain looking at the detail. If you saw the letter L, that's the right brain looking at the big picture. Take a look at these words and colours. Quickly pick out the word green. Now, have you picked out the word spelt green or the word written in green? If you first found the word spelt green, that's your left brain looking for the detail. If you first identified a word written in green, that's the right brain. Hopefully, your brain will eventually show you both the detail and the big picture as the two hemispheres share information. But it's the first aspect you were drawn to, the detail or the whole, that can give you clues as to which hemisphere is most likely your dominant one.